hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel yes finally doing one okay so i've been thinking about doing a youtube channel for like maybe five years now and i just never got to it so now i'm so excited i'm actually starting it um so i'm just gonna get right to it um my first topic is long distance relationship um well that's one of many topics right i'm gonna be given a whole bunch of different topics from my perspective you know so long distance relationships i'm just gonna talk about three things that would help you if you're thinking about starting a long distance relationship if you're already in a long distance relationship and you're trying to think about you know should you go on with this long distance relationship right maybe you're trying to reevaluate your um decision so first, oh wait <laughs> i would not be talking about long distance relationship if i'm not in one okay so i just i met my husband over a year ago and we're married um recently got married i'm so excited i'm happy um one of the best decisions i ever made you know he's a so, he's such a great guy look at me i can't even breathe <laughs> So, um, first tip, if you're going to be, um, maybe dating long distance, I think if you're looking to get into one, first thing I really hope, um, think is best when you're introduced by a family friend or close friend, basically somebody that has your best interest at heart. That's key. You know, some people might just see you and go, oh my God, you're so pretty. I think um, this guy would be so good for you. Okay, if you're into like, you know, you just, you're just dating. I think when you decide to settle down, you just need to have somebody that can vouch for whoever they're introducing you to. So that's number one. Having somebody close to you introduce you to your significant other. I think in my opinion, I'm only speaking from my, from my perspective. Then number two, please get a picture, all right? you need a picture of the person first of all don't give your number if you don't have a picture of the person no 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 like that's just a no first of all like i don't even care this day and age i'm sorry you can't just say oh he 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 sounds nice no you need to see a picture you need to see if he has a big hand if he has short legs if he has short hands <laughs> If it's big, if it's skinny, you need to see who you're about to talk to. So um, I think that's definitely very important, okay? So now, when you go into talking to this person, I think another thing that's such a big deal, such a big deal, communication. Communication, communication, communication. These days, you have WhatsApp, you have Skype, you have what else? There's so many different things that you can use in talking to people. Um, you can't just like, oh, how are you? I'm fine. Um, every, everything's going well. Today's been good. No, you need communication in the sense that you're asking all these questions. Um, I remember listening to a, a preacher one time and said, you know, ask questions like, what's your relationship with soap and water? <laughs> it's so important, you know? Please, communication is very important. Ask all your questions. Make sure that you guys are both on the same page on a lot of things that matter to you. Ask him, does he have any kids? For me, I, I'm very big on, you know, I wanted to marry somebody that didn't have any kids. It's a preference. You cannot tell somebody, oh, you know, it doesn't matter. No, that's a whole human being that you have to also deal with and accommodate. So if that's your, your, your standard that you know cannot even be contested with, ask away. Do you have kids? Um, what kind of, how many kids are you trying to have? Ask all these questions because, you know, if you're 22, like 23, you can just date for dating sake. You know, it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But when you're hitting the age where you feel like you want to settle down, you want to meet somebody. Yeah. You need to have these communications. So let's do this over again. First, get introduced by somebody that cares about you, that has good intents you know, towards you, that you are so sure. Because when it comes to relationship, you need somebody to be accountable, you know, to say, I trust that this person is like this. I'm not saying somebody that has dated this person before, but somebody that you can, that can vouch for who they're introducing you to. Then number two, get in a picture, make sure, you know, you like what you see because physical, um, the physical um, appearance matters a lot. If you care about a certain appearance or way somebody looks, 
please make sure that you get a picture of this person before you even start talking to this person okay let me just give you an example so one of my friends goes oh um i want you to meet this guy he's so nice and this and the third so i'm like all right whatever why not and she gave me the whole breakdown of this guy he's very intelligent he's so smart he has this this degree that degree and being like i'm into education a lot so I was like, oh wow, this guy sounds like, you know, a really good catch. Then I saw, it's like, I felt embarrassed. I was just like, wait, did you not, wait, like, I'm sorry. Did you really think I was going to date this guy? Did you see a picture of this guy before? And then to find out, she didn't even know the guy. It was another person <laughs> that told her to try to introduce this guy to somebody. And she picked me as the bait girl. I was so upset, but... You know just get a picture please and then lastly communication please communication as a woman we like being chased i don't care what you say you know oh that whole i don't mind i'll text first no no, no. i care so i'm speaking from my perspective if the guy is not calling me if the guy is not trying to talk to me on a daily basis then what are we doing you know, what are we doing? And in that communication, be as real as possible. Don't try to be fake. Don't try to be who you are not. Just because you think this guy likes a guy that knows how to cook. If you don't know how to cook, you can say it. And then as the relationship go, you can pick an interest and go learn how to cook. Be yourself. Because at the end of the day, if he gets to know you for the real you and he likes you for that, then you have a really good relationship. But if he gets to know you and, you're, and you've been pretending all along and then he finally knows you for who you are, he's going to be gone, sis, all right? Don't do that. Don't do that. Just be real. Communication. Ask questions. No question is too big. No question is too small. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe at the bottom. I'm excited. I'm going to keep more videos coming on a weekly basis, hopefully. And my makeup was done by me. Do you like it? Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.